everyone i am nithi and today i have got my friend sharayu here with us today uh, she is from rajiv gandhi medical college thane and she has just completed her first year so she is here with us to tell us everything about her college okay uh, so sharayu how exactly is life at um, rajiv gandhi medical college okay so hi uh, life is great at rgmc uh, I've been in this college for like a year now. I'm a first year, the same as you, same batch, and I've honestly got to experience so many things right into first year. And even though it's only been like a year, I feel like I'm starting to like get what MBBS is about. I'm starting to understand what MBBS entails. And other than that, I'd say that uh, yeah, it's like just great. I liked it with all the good and the bad. Okay. So, um, how are your seniors? Okay. Yes, my seniors. So my seniors are really nice people. Uh, there is no such ragging. There is no such thing as ragging in my college. We do have an anti-ragging committee, and like so, once you enter the college, uh, they do ask you to like introduce yourself, and there are like bonding sessions. But again. that so like they get to know you and like you also get to know them and in a way that's a really good thing so not no such ragging uh, other than that uh, yeah they really nice and uh, they help out both in the academic sense and the like if you have any personal issues so like i'll give you like an instance so like if you're in hostel and like if you're sick so you you don't have your parents to go to so then the who who will you go to you have to go to your seniors because they 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 know your college they know the hospital well so they'll help you out a lot so they'll make sure that you they that you go to the hospital and let you get better and that you get so bet better soon and other than that that's like the personal issue side uh if you think about it or if you talk about the academic sense uh they they are very helpful um they provide you with like notes and like imps which are actually very helpful in exam perspective in the exam perspective and yeah uh, there is no such thing as senior junior disparity in my college but you do have to like treat them with respect and undoubtedly so because like uh, they have more experience than you and yeah after one point they just become your friends um, what can you tell us about the academics at rgmc and how are your professors Uh, yeah yes so uh the academics in my college is really good there are no complaints i don't have any complaints uh the teachers are all highly qualified and some of them have uh, ex- extensive experience in their own specialties uh the departments always ensure they make sure to hold quizzes seminars and like the professors they ensure that uh, there is practical they focus on practical learning and not just theory and that's actually a great thing because in mbbs like practical learning that's the key <laughs> they also help out in like doubt if you have any doubts they they all they are always very welcoming the study culture i'd say the study culture in my college is really well balanced there are going to be students there are students who are highly competitive i'm not going to deny that it's the case in most government medical colleges but also uh, everyone is super nice and like we always like discuss and like clear out concerns with each other each other and i've learned that that's actually a a really good way to learn concepts and to understand concepts because sometimes when you're trying to understand it alone or like by yourself you can't do it but like if you discuss it like with a friend or something you're able to understand it easier and like you can even do it faster so that's another thing so i would say the study culture is really good and uh, another thing is that the dissection for dissection i would say is that the cadaver is to student ratio in my particular college is really good it's like 1 is to 12 or so so if you are interested and if you want to really do it you get you get a lot of opportunities to dissect by yourself all year round and like you can do it yourself and like there is more experience uh, involved or like you get more experience basically so that is another good thing Can you tell us about the extracurricular activities at RGMC? Okay, yes. So the extracurricular activities, we have multiple types of fests. Uh, the we have the main cultural fest. It's called a bhiyan.
so the abhiyan last year was held in like around june 2022 Uh, and like that was like around four or five months right into the college. Like I was like it was four or five months. I had entered the college and four or five months into the college, the fest had happened. And so it was pretty new. I, the whole college was very new for me. And so I got to experience like the whole fest scene, I would say. And like it was just a whole different world. Like I got I got to understand what like a college is all about. And like. i got to understand what rgmc uh, has for me and like it taught me like what uh, the college is go- what the college has for me and like that i have like a huge scope to showcase my talent or like any uh, the my whole batch my whole batch and just all my junior batches and henceforth so uh, what does abhiyan have there's a lot of uh, there's dance competitions there is a uh, Uh, there is a fashion show there are band performances so there's all the stuff you you get and then there is another cultural fest it's a marathi cultural fest called abhivyakti and uh, it's basically a way to showcase your talent in maharashtrian art forms so i had actually participated in abhivyakti uh in a dance form called gondar and there's also a really good marathi drama which happens every year and it's like at part to like the theater dramas which happen in marathi so that's a really good thing uh other than that there's a academic fest and it's called zenit uh there are quizzes debates case presentation paper pres- presentation you name it everything's there uh you also have a uh, student workshops like bronchoscopy ecg and many more <laughs> they suturing also uh, and there is a sports fest called ranangan you uh, there are competitions are based on various sports like cricket football table tennis etc mm-hmm. like and other than the fests my college is like particularly active in club activities so a lot of the students are members in clubs like msai rc medicru switch india and like in these clubs you get to like uh, participate in events or even organize events which are medical or non medical related there are also uh, exchange opportunities in my college where like you get to go on exchanges with other countries in like mostly second third year and honestly all of this is just a great way to boost your cv tell us about the hostel and mess facilities in your college yeah yes okay uh so the hostel facility is available for both boys and girls however the boys get it like a year later because of uh, vacancy issues they do live in pgs for like a year and then they are allotted a hostel for girls we get allotted immediately uh it's i'll speak for girls first so it the my hostel honestly is it's one of the best hostel uh considering uh, for like a medical college in maharashtra we have all the facilities required we have been given all the facilities required we uh, are three person per room and uh, we are given a cupboard then there is a study table then there is a bed you, you name it they have given like all the facilities which are required for each person and the washrooms are also good we have several wa- washrooms on each floor there are six floors and uh, there is a cleaning staff which comes and cleans all the washrooms in all the rooms every day so hygiene is also maintained in our, uh, in our hostel uh, there are there is also there are also a few reading rooms in my hostel which uh, help you like the, it's like creates a study environment for you to study and because you can always go to college to study in so that's another great thing and for boys uh again it's three person per room but however they have to share their rooms like with seniors and juniors so they don't share their rooms with batchmates that's like one different thing hostel is in campus for boys and the hostel for girls is 2 kilometers away from the campus in in khopat the fees are also minimal like 3k around i think that's the, that's similar for all government medical colleges in maharashtra and okay yeah so i was talking about the mess facilities so the mess facilities we don't have we don't really have mess facilities 
but uh, for boys they have uh, the college canteen and there are a few canteens nearby to the uh, hospital to the college and to the hostel because all of them are in the same place uh, so yeah you have a few uh, canteens and for the girls there is uh, tif- there are multiple tiffin services so you can just order from the tiffin services and the cost is pretty minimal and they uh, deliver it to you uh, tell us about the location of the college and how is the campus and the infrastructure uh, okay yes so the college is located in kalwa thane it's actually very close to the city uh, it is also run by tmc thane municipal corporation uh, for the infra- infrastructure i won't lie it's, we don't have a really big campus but it's self sufficient we have everything which is required we have all the departments all the departments are accessible and all the labs have all the equipments and all the whatever is required and whatever is needed through all the departments everything is being provided even though our comp- campus is not that big or whatever so uh, it's again it's self self sufficient and uh, we have two huge lecture halls which are ac equipped and we have a good library uh, there is also a series of classrooms called l series where sometimes our exams are held and some you can also study there so this is a few of the things about my campus is there any uh, dress code in your college uh so there isn't uh, really a dress code no uh, however the first year students are required to wear kurtas for girls and formal shoes and shorts for boys from second year onwards you can wear western clothes however you have to ensure that they are decent of course and uh, whenever you are in the you are required to carry your uh, apron in college premises at all times so uh, do students in uh, rajiv gandhi medical college get the same amount of exposure as the students in the colleges in mumbai uh yes yes we do the clinical exposure of our college is at par with the clinical exposure of other colleges in mumbai uh in fact i would also add that since we only have 100 students in my college the professors are actually able to give us more of a focused learning mm-hmm. so in fact it's in a way a more of a benefit i also talked to a few of my interns a few of the interns in my college and they were like since there are some residents in a college in my college but not a lot a lot of the work falls on the interns so it's a pro and a con at the same time like it's a con because they tend to get overworked because of that but it's a pro because the experience they gain out of that is like none other it's a really great thing another th- uh, so we have like 500 hospital uh, hospital beds the all the patient inflow is from thane all over thane so i would say we get all uh, we'll get like all kinds of cases and so the clinical exposure is good in that sense and uh, another thing is that there is a really good research exposure in my college too so the teachers they appreciate and en- encourage the students to do research and that's right, right from first year and i got to do a research in my first year i got the opportunity to do a, to do a research in my first year and it was honestly such a great learning experience and i'm so grateful for it um, do you have any message for your juniors <laughs> yes okay so the our immediate juniors are technically here already they've like been here for like a few months now maybe like four four months i guess yeah. anyways uh, so the message i'd give them so one thing i would say is just have fun honestly this is a new chapter of your life mbbs is like a whole different scene it's not like what you've been doing till 12th it's a you'll get to experience so many new and different things and you just have to learn to go with the flow and like you'll get to experience so many things and like one of the experiences which you'll have is like you know the classic college experience which every everyone goes through in all their college yeah in, when they enter college and so yeah you just have to go with the flow and just have fun and another thing i would say is like you know academic wise is that be consistent but like i feel like most students who have come to this level who are like preparing for neat who are preparing for mbbs they already know that consistency can take you places because it's a very it's it's a very important and one last thing is that i know mbbs can be stressful at times i'm not going to lie it's that's 
it's very true but like with like the right support and like with if you have the right support from your friends and family it'll just be like a piece of cake and you'll just be able to do it i hope she has cleared all your doubts regarding this college in case you have any more questions you can ask them in the comments below and if you found the video helpful please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching bye